Hello, everyone. Welcome to virtual reality. I'd like to orient you to the simulated environment so you have a little bit of an understanding of what you are going to be experiencing when you do your simulation this week. Uh, the first thing that you'll notice is that there is a patient, an EMS provider, and a nurse in the room. I highly recommend that you take a few minutes before you ask any questions of the patient or the EMS provider or dismiss EMS to explore the simulated environment um, to get an understanding of the things that you might be able to do. And I'm going to show you how to do all those things right now. Okay. So the first thing you'll notice is that there's a monitor over here and there's no vital signs on the patient. And we, and vital signs are vital, so we need those. We're going to take off the patient's gown just in order to get all the monitoring equipment on. And the way you do that is you reach towards the patient's gown. You'll notice that it lights up a little bit and has a highlighted ring. And all you're going to want to do is pull the trigger on the hand that is reaching out and then the patient's gown will come off. And then you can put it back on or you can throw it away and it'll go right over here on the linens. All right walk over here, you'll notice there's a bunch of monitoring equipment over here. This is a blood pressure cuff. In order to use this, you'll reach towards it, wait for it to highlight, and pull the trigger on the hand that you're reaching towards. You'll notice this little blue circle shows up on the patient's arm. And all you need to do is get it close enough to that little blue circle, and it'll pop right on their arm. And you'll notice that the blood pressure cuff is going off. This is a cardiac monitoring uh, leads. You can grab those and place them in the big blue circle. And now the patient is on the monitor. And over here is an oxygen saturation monitor. You put it on the little blue circle on their finger. And now the patient has a full set of vitals. If you think that the patient needs supplemental oxygen, come over here and grab this non rebreather and put it on the patient's face. Of course, you're not done, so you'll have to grab the oxygen tubing, bring it over to the uh, wall oxygen supply, and then hold down and turn the oxygen supply like you would in normal life. Now the patient's on oxygen, okay? You'll want to do a physical exam. First thing we need to do is get a little bit of hand sanitizer and you grab this stethoscope here and you can take it over to the patient and listen to their heart, listen to their lungs, or listen to their abdomen. Anytime you don't want the stethoscope, you just release the trigger and it goes right back onto the table where you left it. You'll notice a bunch of carts in the room. And these are all different supplies to do various tasks. This one is IV start. You open it by bringing it to where the drawer is highlighted and then just hit the trigger again grab an IV, bring it over to a circle, place an IV just like that. Now there are cotton balls, sterile gauze, flushes. These are all important in real life. They're, if you would like to do them, perfectly acceptable. You can rub down some uh, alcohol, put in another IV. Just like that. All right. Some other medical supplies in the second drawer include an NG tube, uh, a glucose monitor, a flashlight, which you can pick up and shine in the patient's eyes, a ACE bandage, and a thermometer. All right? In the, in the bottom drawer is some IV fluid. If you pick this up, in order to get this started, you'll want to bring it over to the IV pole hang it on the IV, and then you'll notice that this uh, infusion pump turns on. You can take the IV tubing and connect it by bringing it towards the blue circle on the patient's IV. Now it's connected, but you'll have to put on the rate that you would like. Let's put it at 1,000 and hit start. And now the patient has IV fluids running. Okay. This is a linen cart which has uh, some blue pads, um, some blankets, uh, an extra gown, and the bottom some pillows in case you need it. If you're going to be doing a procedure such as an intubation, 
you'll want some isolation such as yellow gown, gloves, uh, N95, face mask, goggles, and then um, additional visors down at the bottom. This is a Pixis, we'll get to it in just a minute. Let's go over here to the code cart first. All right. So you notice on the code cart that the uh, defibrillator is not on. In order to start it, you'll hit power, pick up these uh, defibrillator pacemaker pads and place them on the patient. And now the patient is on the monitor. You can change the mode from biphasic to synchronized cardioversion by hitting mode. You can change the um, energy from anywhere from 10 to 200 joules by just pretending like you're pushing the button. In order to charge, you hit the charge button. In order to shock, you hit this shock button and you'll hear the defibrillator go off. In the first drawer, you have lots of code medications, adenosine, amiodarone, epinephrine, etc. In order to use these, you reach towards one, pick it up. This one is epinephrine, so it's going to be one milligram per milliliter. In order to use this, you find an IV, you get close to it, and you push forward using the thumb toggle on the controller that is holding the syringe. So you just push forward on it and give a little bit until you get about a milliliter and now you've given a, a milligram of epinephrine. Ooh. All right. Uh, in the second drawer is the airway cart with an intubation kit. You can pick this up, bring it over here and put it on your tray. When you open it, you'll notice a laryngoscope and an endotracheal tube and a flashlight. If you want to use this, you can, all you have to do is take the laryngoscope, put it in their mouth, take the ET tube, easy as that. Now the patient's intubated. Of course, you'll want to put them on a ventilator. So grab this ventilator tubing, put it on the patient and then adjust your ventilator settings as appropriate. There's also an ultrasound machine in the room. In order to use this, all you do is grab the probe and put it on the area that you would like to look at. In this case, it'd be a long axis of the heart and it shows you exactly what you'd like to see. All right. Now, if you would like to order labs or tests such as the EKG or troponin, you come over here and pick up this iPad. There's lots of different things that you can look for on this iPad, patient overview, previous orders. If you want a new order, go to order entry, hold it down and you'll find a list of labs such as a CBC. In order to order it, you just sort of hover over it and point or D-dimer. And then you swipe uh, left or right to access additional diagnostic testing, right? And then if you want to see what the results are, all you have to do is go to laboratory and diagnostic test results. I am not going to open it, so I don't give anything away. If you would like to place a consult on the patient, you can just pick up the phone Hello, here. this is the hospital operator. How can I help you? And the operator will ask you, what would you like to do? You just say, I would like to consult surgery. And we will, we as the moderator uh, of the simulation will click the appropriate response and you'll hear from the operator. I'll page out that consult right away. Similarly, if you'd like to talk to the EMS provider or talk to the patient or give a nurse um, instructions, all you would say to the EMS provider, oh, why, why were you called to the patient's house? And he'll, and we as the attending who's monitoring the simulation will choose the correct response and that person will talk to you, okay? Last thing I wanna show you is the uh, massive transfusion blood over here. Every case has it. So just because you see blood in the cooler doesn't mean that it's the right answer. In order to get these, you just have to pick them up bring them over here to the rapid transfusion and hang them up, okay? 
still not done, you'll have to grab this IV tubing and hook it up to an IV and then hit start. And now you have blood and IV fluids going. If you would like to order a medication, again, it's over here. You can go to order entry. You could pick any medication you want, such as, say this person is in pain, so we're gonna pick morphine, five milligram IV push. Okay, now you'll notice that morphine has now showed up on the Pixis. So all you have to do is click on morphine. Ooh, that's a lot of morphine. Pick up one along with the syringe. You will put it the morphine in and in order to draw it up, you pull back on your uh, the, the thumb toggle that is holding the syringe and get the amount you want. This is five milligrams per milliliter. So we want to give them five milligrams. We're gonna get one milliliter. Come over here to the IV and press forward on the toggle to administer the medication. All right. That is most of the uh, activities you can complete in virtual reality. If you have any questions or are confused about how to do something, just ask us or say, I would like to do X, Y, or Z. And we, as the attending who's running the simulation, can give you instructions on how to do it within the simulated environment. Last but not least, we want you to have a lot of fun because this is a really fun and interesting activity. Um, and I think it will be very helpful for your simulation, your graded simulation next week. All right. So we'll see you later this week for your virtual reality simulation in the VR Research Lab.